Hi Kids and Glasses readers. Today I'm doing a review of the at home try on process from Tortoise and Blonde. Tortoise and Blonde is one of the startup retailers similar to Warby Parker and Benji Frank. They have a similar structure in that their glasses, frames plus lenses cost close to $100. And these glass, these frames arrived via UPS. They come in a white UPS box. It says Tortoise and Blonde. They do have to be sent back via UPS as well. So you will need to take them to a UPS location or find a UPS driver to return them. Inside the box when you open it is a return label for UPS, an invoice that is supposed to be returned with your order when you send it back, and I liked this invoice because it had the name of the frame and the color in which I ordered it. It's also got a little color picture of the frame itself, so it was an easy way to remember which was which. The at-home try-on process from Tortoise and Blonde does cost $1, and that $1 is donated to their charity project. So the $1 covers your, um, your shipping and your return shipping, and they donate those funds to, the project, to their charity project. And I also received a little card that talks about the try-on process. You may want to note that Tortoise and Blonde allows you to keep the frames for seven days, uh, that's two days longer than Warby Parker and Benji Frank. They allow you to keep the frames for five days. On the opposite side of this card were some coupons. So I thought that was great because it encourages you, if there's a pair you really like, to take $10 off one pair or $20 off two pair. So that does save you a little bit of money. And then there was also what appeared to be a handwritten note. I can only assume from the owners of the company. I'm not sure who Evan and Steven are. I'd have to check on that. I don't think it's actually a handwritten note. I think that this is a printed note, but it was a what I thought was a nice touch anyway. So the frames themselves arrive in a sexy black box. Tortoise and Blonde has a somewhat rock and roll motif going on with their brand. You can see that their um, their logo is a little guitar pick with the ampersand. Their slogan is, we sit on your face. So a uh, very rock and roll approach to their motif. So I'll quickly take you through the frames that I selected. I have not from any of the retailers chosen a clear frame. So I was kind of excited about these because it was different than anything I had gotten from any of the other retailers. This frame is the Melrose, and it does have a little silver rivet up at the top temple edge of the frame. The frames did all come with a clear lens in the frame, but you will notice that it does have the printed demo lens only on the frame. So unfortunately, uh, I would prefer it if the retailers would all start using a clear lens in the frame so that if you want to throw on a pair of contacts and walk around with the frames on and see how comfortable they are, that you can do that. So let's take a closer look at the Melrose. I'm going to medium width temple arm. It is clear throughout, so you can see the wire and the temple arms it does make it adjustable. The logo is on the earpiece here, and again, it's just that little guitar pick with the ampersand. And because this is a clear frame, they tried to make it so that the text in the frame would not be very visible. So you may or may not be able to see where it says Melrose there. It does say handcrafted in China, so the frames, like all of the other frames that we've seen, um, were made in China. And it does say Tortoise and Blonde there on the opposite arm. So that's the Melrose. The next one I selected is the Lafayette. And this color is called Tortoise and Blonde. And I think that this is due to it being a tortoise shell color. And then the inside of the frame is a blonde color. So it's much easier to see the text on the inside of this frame. So you can see that it has the name of the frame. And then it says Tortoise and Blonde on the opposite. And then the size of the frame right there at the earpiece. There is a little uh, nose piece here on the, uh, on the Lafayette frames. And they have a nice wide temple arm. Nice glossy acetate. I was pleased with all of these frames. All five pair felt quality to me. None of them were stiff or creaky. So I was quite happy with the way that they turned out. As the men's frame, this one was the favorite one that I ordered. This is the Germain, German, 
I, it's J-E-R-M-Y-N. I'm not quite sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. And again, there's a little rivet at the temple. And it's a dark gray, and it fades to almost a clear acetate at the bottom. A little narrower temple arm, and again, rivets on the temple arm. So you can see the texture of the wire inside the frame. And again, that clear nose piece. The next two frames I selected are definitely women's frames. This one I love. This is the Lola. And this is a matte finish on this frame. And I think that that is very different from any of the other acetate frames that I have seen. And so I was excited by this frame. It's also a very small frame. The frame is uh, 49, 18, 140. And so if you've got a narrower face, this is a great frame. These are really lightweight and comfortable. And the matte finish on the frame, like I said, it's very flattering. These are nice casual glasses. If I were going to order a pair, it would probably be the Lola. However, I also love the Laurel. This is more of a cat eye shape. This color was uh, different. It's a very pale, almost watered down, uh, very watered down coffee color. Um, they refer to this as brown sugar. And again, you can see right through the uh, temple arm to the wire in the frame. And the name of the frame and the color are printed on the inside. So that's all five of the frames that I ordered. I will say there was a little bit of difficulty getting the frames. I ordered them on the same day that I ordered the frames from Warby Parker and Benji Frank. So I ordered them on the 17th and I didn't get them until the 31st. So it took them quite some time to get these frames to me. However, once I got the frames, I was very excited. I like the frames quite a lot. I love that they sent me a coupon and I think that the frames are quite nice. So I can recommend the quality of the frames. Um, I would say if you order your frames for at home try on and you don't get them, just check in and see uh, when they might be shipping them because as soon as I checked in with them, they checked on my order and got the frames right out to me. So that is my overview of Tortoise and Blonde. And for those of you who are out there shopping for glasses on the web, good luck. We'll see you next time.